extract value from your data. But this new structured streaming API Spark 2.0 that take us through reach really takes Spark to the next level because it makes it easier than ever to go from this kind of exploratory data science style analysis to an actual running continuous application in production. And that's what I want to demonstrate for you all today. So for this, we're going to use Dataverse. And here you can see that I'm in uh, the home page of my Dataverse workspace. We've got some example notebooks here. We've got some documentation down here. We also, elsewhere in the product, have just educational resources from several award-winning groups that have been taught about big data and using Apache Spark. But for today, we're going to run our own notebook. So here, I'm going to go to my home directory. And you can see that I've already got some uh, sample notebooks here that are going to be going to use as helper notebooks uh, in this demo. I'm going to create this notebook. Let's call it demo. And you can see that I've already attached it to this running cluster. We're going to be using Scala for this. We're going to create it. All right, so normally when we do these kinds of demos in the United States, the subject that we focus on is the American presidential election. And uh, I, I don't know if the news has gotten over here yet, but we are having an election right now. And uh, a lot of people are very concerned about the way that it's going on both sides, and, and they've taken to Twitter to talk about it. And so there's a lot of data there. Uh, however, in order to save myself the embarrassment of discussing the political situation in my own country, uh, I'm going to talk about something that's perhaps a little bit more relevant to people in this part of the world, and that's Brexit. <laughs> so here, just to uh, take a brief of this title, we're going to go uh, enter this markdown cell. We're now talking about Brexit. For the Americans in the audience, uh, the UK just voted to leave the EU. Uh, there are many people on both sides of this issue who are very concerned with how it's going, and like with our election, they've taken to Twitter. And so we have a lot of data here from these tweets. And, and what we're going to do is, just as with sort of any typical workload, uh, we're going to first try and extract some value from a small collection of representative data that we've collected offline, and then we're going to take that sort of workflow that we've developed and extend it to something more complicated, more production, using these new structured streaming APIs. And finally, at the end of this demonstration, we're going to use other APIs from Spark, including the Python API, to do some more advanced data science on this set of data. So let's first look at our data. What is it telling us? So what I'm going to do here is just show off, uh, I have this collection of files that I've uh, stored here in Mount Data Feeds. We're just going to get a list of these files so you can see that these are just completely unstructured. We have these like large parts here. And so I'm going to go in here and let's just look at one of these files. So we're going to just read from the top of this file. And what we're going to see is that this is just a collection of JSON blobs representing tweets. Here you can see we've got kind of like a created app field, uh, text in the tweets, and some information about the user. But there's not a lot of structure. It's going to be hard for us to really extract just from these raw files to do any real data analysis. And so the first step, as is so often the case, is we're going to just do a classic ETL. Uh, so let's go back to our markdown, and we're going to note that we're going to use an ETL from just these tweets. Something a little bit more structured. Oh, yes. All right. Hopefully, everybody can see this a little better now. All right. Uh, so what we're going to first do is we're going to use the new Spark Session API. This is new in 2.0. And what this is, it's, it's our one-stop shop for interacting with Spark. In previous versions of Spark, we've had to juggle a Spark context, a SQL context, a query context, a Hive context, streaming context, all these different contexts. But now we just have a single point of entry for all things Spark. And so we're going to use this to read. And you can see that there are a variety of different formats that we can read our data from, but uh, we know that our data is formatted in JSON, so we're going to read that. So just pass in the name of the folder. And we're going to assign this to a value in tweets. And then let's just call it display. So we can see what's actually happening here. And what this is doing, Spark is now going through and reading through all of those files, collating that data into one single collection, and then interpreting it as a data frame. This is an untyped uh, data set. And here, here you can see that we now recognize that we have these different columns. We have a created at column and a text column, those exact same things that we saw in the raw data itself, except now we've got it in a more structured format, and we can deal with it in a little, in a little bit of a way. And, and there's some of this data that maybe we don't care so much about. Like, maybe we don't really care about the user bio and user ID. So now we're going to progress and, and